hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel um today we're just gonna be doing a quick one month update on my journey as an undergraduate physician associate um so if you've not already drop a like below leave a comment subscribe um if you have any question i'm gonna leave my instagram my facebook and my snapchat in the description box so you can just um, drop me a message and um i'll make sure i get back to you or i'll probably even do a video about it um yeah so um without further ado let's just get into it Okay guys, for my one month update, um, I'm gonna probably gonna be talking about three things. Um, the different environment, different teaching style, and I'll probably end up with um, different materials. Um, I'll, if I can, I'll leave a timestamp below with the time where I talk about each topic so you can just skip the video to the place where you, you need to, where you're most interested. Um, so, this, a little disclaimer first, I was an A-level student, so, um, all what I'm saying, um, I'm giving it from the the perception of someone coming from A level. So if you guys already have a degree or already been to uni, um, you might not be able to relate to all what I'm saying. So let me just put it out there. So um, first thing I want to talk about is the different environment. Um, now, before I started uni on the 16th of, of September, um, I, I only went to Oakland once for my interview and um, I just went, I had my interview, my my interview. I'm gonna be talking about this in um, separate videos and I'm gonna also be giving out tips. But then after my interview, I just went home. I didn't um, I didn't go around the uni just to have a look, so I just went home. So um, before the 16th of September, I never actually like saw the uni. So the 16th of September was like the first time ever when I actually saw the union how big it was and um i got lost <laughs> the first week the first week i got lost uh multiple times but um they do have um people like students who volunteer they have like a red t-shirt with ukraine written on it and um they normally stand like for the first week i, I was seeing them all the time they stand like outside in the library in the buildings and you can just ask them any questions and they're so nice and willing to help so um I mean just be prepared <laughs> but you do have help so it's and there are also maps so you could be able to not navigate actually um but yeah the environment is definitely going to be a change so if you're coming from college just be ready for that change but um it, it might take a little, little time but you get used to it um it's been one month and i'm already kind of getting used to mine not fully but I mean, I don't get lost anymore, so at least that's that's an improvement. Now, the next thing is um the um the teaching style. Um, personally, I found it. I mean, I'm still finding it very difficult to adjust to it. So um, the for example, the way we we are taught in um in college, we are provided with booklets for each topic. We had booklets or we had like handouts, printouts, and um the teacher just used those to explain to us. So when you went back home. You had your hand out which you could um, just read and study then then if then you could also integrate with um like add to add to your knowledge you could use some test books i was used to that but then i moved to to uni and um and um, yeah i saw something different because um the way the lecture is being um is being um provided is a little bit similar as in the lecturer bring her slides and then um and then there's a projector and then he projects the slide and then he, he used those to um, deliver the lecture so i mean that that is similar to what, what we used to do in college but then we had no handouts um no one is gonna give you any handout or give you any textbook or the only thing they do is um at the end of their of each lecture um at the end of the slide they, they do recommend some reading so they put some additional reading where you could use to just integrate to your knowledge, but that's the only thing. So um, you need to be more independent in that point of view because um, you need to know by yourself what textbook you need to get, which one is good for you, how to integrate it with your, with your, with your learning. Because, so, um, in college, we used, to, um, we used to have homeworks. So the teacher would deliver a lecture, she'll give us homework, we'll go home, we'll, do the, we'll have to 
um, revise what we did, do the homework, then come back. That she's gonna check everyone's homework to see if they're actually being done. So I was used to that, but then in uni it's different because you're not gonna get homeworks. Like sometimes they do put some some materials out for you, but no one is gonna come the next day to check if you did it or not. You have to be independent. So like being used to the college system when you start uni it's gonna be difficult to adjust because then you need to start doing things on your own um you need to know when to revise you need to do you need to know where you need help to go search for help so like in, in college the teachers coming to you to see if you need help in uni it's the other way around if you don't come to them they won't come to you so when you need help you need to go to them so um this is a tip i'm gonna okay. so just start practicing it because if from college you used to it you used to doing things on your own when you come to uni it's not going to be new for you but if you, you if you used to maybe your mom pushing you to study or your teacher pushing you to study when you go to uni like most of us when we go to uni some of us move so we're living alone um so you're living alone you don't your mom is not there to push you anymore to go study your your, your, your lecturers won't do that for you so if you're not able to do that by yourself you go, it's gonna be really hard for you so yeah that's the tip I, i'm gonna give Another thing I want to talk about is the different materials. So, um, I did for my A levels chemistry, biology, and maths. So um, they call them the hard sciences. I did so, um, and I got really high grades, luckily. And um, so I was thinking that going to uni, the first year of uni, studying the physician associate program. Now, um, let me just put this out there. I'm gonna make a video about it, but let me just put this out there. The first year of an undergraduate physician associate student is the same as the first year of a person doing a medical degree like the first year is the same we do the same modules we do the same everything so the first year is the same so basically like it's like i'm studying medicine for the first year so um so doing those hard sciences i actually thought um first year was gonna be a little bit easy um because i thought it was gonna be like a revision of what we already done in biology and chemistry and all that but yeah, um, I went to uni and I found something totally different. Yeah, um, if, you, if you're like me and you're doing the A-levels I did and you're thinking our uh, first year is going to be it's gonna be easy, just change that mindset. You're like, you need to be ready to, to work hard from the first year, from the first day. So what I'm doing, I'm ready every day. I'm going to the library just to um, catch up. So in the lecture, very importantly, you need to take notes. Try and be... And be, and be be attentive, take notes, after the lecture, go home, go to the library, do something, just do some work just to consolidate because things pile up very, very easily. So um, yeah, that's another tip I'm giving. And something else, um, um, even if you did um, the hard sciences, hard A-levels, and then you go like super high grades, um, don't worry because <laughs> when you go there, there's only someone that knows more than you, like you in class with people who are who already have degrees so like we have nurses we have pharmacists we have different people there so like if you think you know they know more so this is something i'm still getting used to because um anytime i'm in class during lecture and then every people are just like answering questions and i don't even know those answers i just feel like i'm behind compared to them what i'll do this is the tip i'm gonna give um Go and I mean the, the lecturers are so available. So any problem at all, you just go to them, email them. They always get back to you. You could you could uh, do some studies during this the the summer holiday, but I doubt someone after doing A levels want to do uh, more more um, more studies. So yeah, um, uh, I spoke to other people from second year and third. So they said from second and third year that imbalance in knowledge kind of almost disappears. So yeah. It's just to be able to pass first year, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. Um, that was just like a quick update. Um, just leave a like, as I said before. Um, and yeah, um, have a nice day, guys. See ya.